Okay, so here we are sailing along, and who wants to go down and look at the center boards? That's no fun. Plus, you really need to be up here paying attention, so you really need a center board indicator. Model here of the two center boards. Here is the uh, starboard center board, and in the back is the port center board. Located up on the top, we've got center board sensor number one and center board sensor number two. Each of the center boards is hooked up with its own little circuit board in the uh, semi watertight box. There's another one over here for the other uh, the other side, and then we have the um, the display unit. This is the uh, the display unit. So what we'll do is we'll turn the display unit on, and I'm going to back this up so we can all get an idea of what's happening. The display unit is now initializing, and it comes right up and says there's no signal. So in order to get a signal, we have to take the uh, center board. Um, sensor electronics. Uh, open the box up. Just a simple box. Cover comes right off and we throw the switch. As soon as we throw the switch the uh, center board system recognizes that the uh, signal is being received and the center boards are uh, being displayed for that one. And then we'll do the same thing for the uh, for the port side. We'll open this one up and switch that one on. Put the phone back in the box and put the cover back on. So we have uh, the two center board sensors and transmitters are operating and right now the two sensors are showing on this display right here and I'm going to zoom in on this so you can see this is the uh, this is the display both boards are up and uh, when we take and move the model like this you can see the center board display showing the dis the uh, starboard board going down and you can see that right here on the display it's indicating the boards going down by some amount. And as I move the port board down, the port side should do the same thing. So right now both both boards are fully uh, down and you can see that on the display. Both are indicated by the bars showing that both of the uh, boards are, are uh, all the way down. We can raise either board independently and as this board is raised you can see the center board indicator bar moving upwards until the board is now all the way up and this shows you the port board down and the starboard board up and as we raise the port board the indicator shows the same behavior and that you know that the board is in fact up. When the boards are both all the way up the indicator displays up. When either board is partly down the indicator displays down. And to save battery power, the uh, light on the on the display is is only turned on in the beginning, so you can shut it off, turn it back on, we'll go through initializing again. Hopefully that works. There we go. Initializing and it shows you the state of the boards. They're both up. And here it, uh, here it is with the light. You can see the starboard board going down until the starboard board is all the way down to the bottom and it'll indicate whatever depth the board's at and the same thing on the port, we'll lower the port the port went down and now the port's down. One unique feature of this system is if we have a problem with one of the sensors for example it shuts off and we'll simulate that by shutting one of them off the just shut off the port center board and we wait a couple seconds here and after a few uh, few moments the display will recognize that there is no starboard uh, center board anymore and it responds with a, uh, a, a no signal from the uh, starboard side so it recognizes that condition. We'll turn it back on again and 
automatically recognize the, the board. I just turn it back on. And instantly we get good good data. So now they're both on again. So when you're sailing along, you have one board up and the other one down and you forget where they are. Or if you're going along and one of them hits the bottom and kicks up, the display will show you right away what's going on. It also has a, a feature where if either of the two uh, systems is not operating, the uh, system will, will recognize that and put up a, an RF error or no signal condition. And that can take a little bit longer than one side or the other, but I'll just simulate that here. Shut off both of the, of the transmitters and see what, see what happens. Okay, it's indicating both of them are up, but now it's in a no signal condition. So all I did was shut off the transmitters and the two devices are now uh, now uh, reporting a, a, no, a no signal condition. So here we've got no signal, there's an error condition, it, it recognized that and it's putting it up on the display. And we can turn it back on again and get the, the, uh, the light so if you want to need to see it. Um, this is how it's done. It's initializing. There's no signals right now, so it'll stay in the initializing state until the signal has been turned on. I'm going to turn the port board on. Port board is on. And lo and behold, we have both boards up, but no signal on the starboard side. So we can wait a couple seconds and see if we get a no signal on the starboard side indicator. So I lowered the port board. Ah, there it came up, no signal on the starboard side, just as it's supposed to. So let me turn the starboard side back on again here. And this is how we do it. We just turn the switch. And lo and behold, starboard's still up, port's down. And we can turn the turn them both down. So there you have it. That is the uh, center board uh, indicating system. Uh, both are up. Both are down. There you go.